Hello friends, greetings from Iceland, another breaking news. The volcanic eruption uh, at Svartsengi volcanic system is over. Volcano ended this morning after slightly over two days. This was the most short-lived eruption of all four that we have seen recently on Reykjanes Peninsula. And actually we have predicted this yesterday uh, from the interview by Torvaldur Tordarsson, the most leading Icelandic volcanologist, who said that this volcano will end before the wicked, but it ended even earlier than that. This is not the first time we have such short-lived eruptions. In Iceland we had a lot of such small eruptions um, at Krap, during Krapla fires in the north of Iceland back in the early 80s, and we will go into that um, to show you that this is possible. Very similar eruption pattern, volcanic eruption that lasted for uh, one day, two days, three days, maximum uh, two weeks, uh, had been observed earlier in Iceland back in 1975 to 1984 in the course of nine years at Krapla Volcano. It's slightly to the north, uh, north east of Akureyri, that's where we have the big uh, geothermal power plant. And uh, we had a series of volcanic eruptions in that uh, volcanic system uh, from 1975 to 1984. This article is uh, in Icelandic. We will translate it to English so that we could, we could, we could read together. Okay, so the volcano started uh, in December 1975, very short-lived eruption. Um, just lasting a few days and it again erupted for one day in 1977 in April. Then again the same year, a few months later, it erupted for one day uh, in September. Then again for one or two days in March, uh, three years later. After that it erupted uh, in the summer just a few months later, lasting for seven days. Uh, then it erupted uh, again in October of the same year, means a few months later, lasting five days. Then again it erupted uh, about uh, three, four months later, lasting four days. Then the same year, year it erupted uh, some ten months later, lasting for one day only. Then three years later, it erupted again, lasting only two weeks. So uh, this is how it looked at, uh, when it had been erupted. Altogether, back then, lava covered 33 square kilometers in the course of nine years. So very similar pattern we might see here uh, uh, on Reykjanes Peninsula, and the lava which is erupt had been erupting recently comes from the same source that had been feeding uh, eruptions at Fagradalsfjall in 21, 22 and 23 but here it broke uh, to the shallower uh, chamber uh, and where it had been accumulating for some time that's why the substance of the lava crystal crystals and the lava uh, change it somewhat, that's why it's kind of different lava, because it stayed very close to the surface. But it's very similar pattern that uh, we saw back at um, Krapla Volcano in the north of Iceland. Already on the first eruption day, uh, the professor Paul Einarsson from the University of Iceland uh, air sciences specialist compared this eruption to Krapla in the north of Iceland. He told this is typical eruption for Icelandic conditions after three atypical eruptions. This is the refreshing reminder of what Icelandic eruptions are like. Uh, and he compares it to Krapla. As far as eruptions go, this is pretty well followed the specifications from the Krapla eruptions in the north of Iceland better than the three small eruptions that preceded it, says Pot and Einarsson. And we saw that Krapla volcano erupted for nine years and then had quite a few of those small eruptions that lasted for a day or two or a week. 
this is much more normal behavior for Icelandic volcanic eruptions if we look at the long term. Then it becomes more and more clear how unusual the first eruption of 2021 in Fagradasfjall was. It started with very small eruption and then it just kept simmering for six months or half a year. It turned on and off alternatively and did all kinds of weird things which is quite unusual. So the first eruption of 2021 was unusual, but what we have seen in the last two days is quite usual for Icelandic conditions. And we have quite many of such small eruptions during the history, also in the 20th century. It also became clear from the measurements by the Icelandic Institute of Earth Sciences that the lava which erupted at Svartsangi during the past days comes from the same source as the lava which erupted in the past three years, 2021, 22 and 23. Uh, the magma that erupts at Sudnuka craters sequence is believed to be of the same strain as the magma that erupted in the main part of Gelengadalur in 2021, Meradalur eruption 2024, and 23 eruption at Little Hrutur this summer. <clears throat> this is shown by the results of uh, the University of Iceland's Earth Science Institute's measurements of lava samples collected on the night of December 19, shortly after the eruption started. <clears throat> the collected uh, lava sample is vesicular and glassy with plagioclase and olivine dikes and plagioclase, olivine and chrome spinel microcrystals. The magma is considered different from the magma that has arisen in historical volcanic eruptions in the Svartsangi system further west, but is most similar to the lava of Fagardos Fiat from 21-2023. But there is some mixture of um, uh, magma of different origin, at least in part, they say. So, what to expect next? There came another interview with Torvaldor Tordason, the volcano wizard from Iceland, who predicted this eruption to end before the weekend. You saw my video from yesterday, it even ended earlier than that, earlier than previously thought. And he tells that. The magma which erupted at Swartzengi is coming up from the same deep chamber as the magma that came up uh, from Fagradalsfjall eruptions in 2021, 2022 and 23. But instead of coming straight up, it went into magma reservoir, the magma chamber, at shallower depths, 4 to 5 kilometers under Swartzengi, that's where we have the Blue Lagoon. Uh, mentioning that there, there, there the magma crystallized to make itself lighter, that's why this is a small difference in the lava, but the measurements show that it is the same uh, magma as back in 21, 22 and 23. Pressure built up and when it was enough great for the magma to come up very quickly, we saw uh, an eruption which started with a phreatic blast because there was some uh, groundwater in the area. He says, uh, about the continuation, we are going to see another eruption in the area, he says that um, the events on Reykjanes Peninsula seem to be connected and they probably come from the same deep magma reservoir. He wonders if this is the last volcanic eruptions in the upheaval in the region or if more uh, are expected. It will probably become clear in the next few days and it will depend, among other things, on where the land rise at Swartzengi will start again. So, if the magma flows in there again, this can happen again, as was the case at Krapla volcanic eruptions, um, Krapla volcanic series uh, in the north of Iceland back in the late 70s, early uh, 80s. So, it all depends if there is more magma inflow 
uh, into that chamber. Currently the chamber is empty, but the land rise will show. If nothing like that happens, maybe this will come down, uh, but we have to wait and see. So the measurements um, will show. It's a kind of good news that the eruption ended for Grindavik, but on the other hand, we are in much uncertainty in a long, long period, perhaps the next couple of years, what will happen uh, around uh, Fagerdalsfjall and Swartzangi systems. So, this is the final view, more or less, of the last um, four eruptions that took place on Reykjanes in the course of 2021-23. Here to the right we see a Gelingadalo eruption from 2021, which was the longest, lasted for uh, six months and lava flooded very deep wells. It was also the biggest in terms of the volume. And then uh, here to the left we see the current um, eruption, the last eruption which just ended this morning. And this is how the lava field looks like more or less. Perhaps uh, a little bit bigger but not much difference because there wasn't much lava coming in the past uh, day. Most of the lava came in the course of the first um, six hours. And the projected um, lava flows where it would flow if it would continue are not valid anymore unless we will see the new outbreak along the same fissures. What is not excluded if there is more magma coming into the chamber uh, and that we will see from the land rise if it will happen or not. And it might happen so of course in the course of next couple of years. But this will be measured in the days, months, years to come. Uh, so it's kind of good news for the residents of Grintavik. I hope they will let the people into the city in the near future. Uh, because to wait for years, keep the city closed, uh, doesn't really make sense. And as you see, uh, this was the shortest of all eruption, lasted only two days. Slightly over two days. Little Hrutor was very similar, also started very big. Also, it happened in the lowlands like this one. That's why perhaps it was um, similar uh, in Perton. The Gelingadalo eruption happened on the top of the mountain, on the summit of the biggest mountain, uh, close to the summit of the biggest mountain uh, on. On the, in the western parts of Reykjanes Peninsula, called it Fangratlasfjall. Uh, and it was obvious that uh, it was the deepest uh, magma that we have seen there. This is very shallow, the shallowest magma of all of them.